Welcome. Uh, this is a little video uh, here from the European Parliament. My name is Annelies. I'm a German member of the Social Democratic Group from Sachsen-Anhalt. Um, and I welcome Mr. Janssen from Germany. He's the head of the Office of the Partnership for uh, Sustainable Textile. Um, welcome and great that you made it possible to come to Brussels. Um, we are talking today on the issue on sustainability and on supply chains and textile. Um, we had the situation that I had to give a first speech in the parliament and I said uh, trade is a European issue and I know of a German initiative, the Textile Initiative for Sustainable Textile, um, and that it needs to be made uh, to a European level. And in that regard, um, I went into touch uh, with this uh, initiative, but also we had the parallel situation that the Commission uh, uh, announced that they have a flagship initiative on uh, garment. Uh, that never happened really, but we had a conference when we talked about it already. And now uh, we have a new situation as Germany moved ahead uh, from 2014 and 15. These were the years I was involved in these topics, first time. And um, I'm so happy that you're here and made it possible. Can you explain what is the German initiative all about and what are the key points? Yeah, thank you very much for having me and giving the opportunity to talk about sustainability in textile um, supply chain. The Partnership for Sustainable Textile has been initiated at the end of 2014 by the Federal Minister Gerd Müller um, in Germany to tackle the challenges in textile supply chain, um, working conditions, but also environmental conditions, uh, corruptions, and all um, the challenges that, that are associated with that. Um, as of today, um, I can say that we are um, a success story, but also a success story in the making. We are not there yet, but we are working on it uh, together with our 150 approximately members um, from, from companies, from associations, from the German government, um, from the NGO sector, um, from standard organizations and trade unions. This is a very broad approach, bringing together the main players in that field to really drive change, uh, to drive change uh, in the industry and to support uh, our members in that, that regard. We see a very valuable point uh, to have this broad approach. Um, we are working here on the Sustainable Development Goals 2030 and uh, the textile supply chain shows so many opportunities to really work and, and foster all of these points in all areas in Europe, but also in the countries where uh, textiles are being produced or even their cotton being produced. Um, in that regard, we tried to have um, a, an initiative um, from the, or we, we hoped that the Commission bring something out that hadn't happened. And so we then had an initiative report from the European Parliament where we took uh, what already exists. So we announced, for example, that we have an OECD our, our standard and, and a new uh, portfolio um, on due diligence. Uh, interestingly enough, we had a broad majority for legal binding due diligence questions uh, throughout the whole party border. But um, that is, you know, a long-standing future uh, situation. Um, we have to start with small steps. And what can the OECD standard uh, bring to that extent? Can that be maybe the first cornerstone of that development? For us, the OECD um, due diligence guidance for the textile and garment industry, but also the overarching uh, approach of the OECD, um, is the common language we want to agree upon. Together with our Dutch partners from the agreement uh, on garment and textile in the Netherlands, the so-called covenant, um, the textile covenant, we are working together um, to support uh, as trailblazers, uh, so to say, um, the OECD due diligence guidance um, as the common language that should be used um, <laughs> ideally by all major uh, players in that field um, to really drive change. We see this as a very positive cornerstone. Besides that, um, we have other uh, European nations which take up the topic. When we talk on the SDGs, I was in New York last year, where the Estonian and the Danish uh, explained the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, and the achievement through the supply chain on textile. Um, and uh, we had a, a fashion summit in Copenhagen again, where the French ambassador in France actually has the due diligence already in a national law included. Um, the question was there, uh, how do we do work on 
um, the wages question. And there's a new initiative, it's called ACT. I wonder if you can explain what that means to you and what is behind this initiative. Yeah. Um, the ACT initiative is also very important to us because we have uh, a strategic cooperation with them to tackle the topic of um, living wages. Living wages is a very, very complex issue that normally cannot be addressed by a single player, um, especially not when you look at a, uh, at a structural level where you want to uh, maybe achieve um, higher wages throughout an industry. So, ACT, uh, Action Collaboration Transformation, as it is spelled out, is a very important cornerstone trying to support um, the negotiation of trade unions, uh, collective bargaining at a national industry-wide level in production countries. And at the same time, um, the members of ACT and also hopefully the members of the textile partnership will commit to change their buying behavior and buying, buying patterns so that the producing countries can really raise uh, um, wages without losing business. It's a, it's a give and take um, and it's not, a, um, it's not an individual approach. It's a, it's a cooperative, cooperative approach that wants to well, foster structural change. Industrial all drives this process yes. and I'm very positive about that because they would allow us that uh, the bargaining and uh, um, the setting up of the price uh, excludes the question of the wages, um, that that could be uh, a, a part where you have uh, a, comp a competition between the countries because we have some industry players who move now from one country like from Bangladesh and move to Ethiopia because the wages question uh, is still a, co a cornerstone on the pricing on the textile producing uh, as such. Um, what is your future um, understanding? I'm, I'm so glad you had a great session uh, a few days ago here in Brussels at the uh, Dutch Embassy um, on your uh, joint work. Um, um, are there other countries which are foreseen that there are initiatives that we could uh, kind of learn where they stand, that the Parliament takes that on board when we uh, discuss this together uh, with the Commission? Yeah, I think it's very important that, that there is a broad approach because it will be extremely difficult to have a national or two or three national initiatives that, uh, that work on it and the rest uh, is not, not really paying heed uh, what, what is happening in, in the part of uh, due diligence and working on the change that is needed in, in textile supply change. Um, we are looking um, certainly to Spain, uh, where a new initiative has, has been launched uh, just recently. Uh, we are also looking to the Nordic countries, uh, to Belgium and certainly to, to France, to the big markets. For us, it is um, maybe not so much important that every country has its own initiative, but that the industry as a whole um, can agree that the OECD diligence guidance is the common language, um, the approach that all want to go pre-competitive. Um, to drive change in the supply chain. That's, that's the important thing and I hope uh, and I also ask the Parliament and the Commission to, to see and look what's, what's happening there um, and, and see that they can support working on a level playing field um, that, that is being trailblazed by, by a few initiatives. Um, so it is hopefully and for us it is very important that, that it gets broader. I think it's great that uh, there are different initiatives from member states, from the business. We have positive businesses who are really keen on these issues, but also you have civil society like Fashion Revolution Week, where you have uh, weekly after the Rana Plaza happening um, in every European country now, uh, or most of them, uh, initiative by civil society. So bringing them all on board and trying to have a European solution on that, that would help us and uh, we are in favor of that. So thank you so much for your cooperation uh, amongst the European initiatives and being in a great discussion with us also in the Parliament and I hope we will successfully move that forward. So all the best and thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you for having me and thank you for your support.